So with the death of Prince Philip, I was watching the BBC News Channel and there was a lot of coverage. Um, and after about four hours, I thought, well, maybe I'll have an update later. Um, a more, inf you know, I'll have a break. And it turns out that uh, BBC viewing figures were going down a little bit because people were uh, switching channels um, for what you know, for whatever reason. And I was one of them. I, I, I you know, I'd had enough uh, of Prince Philip for, and I, I was saying I'll go back to it, but I ended up watching Netflix, um, and in my head I. Was, I thought oh, I'll go back to Prince Philip later on, obviously, because uh, it's the story of the day. Uh, but I thought I'd watch a miserable documentary instead, because you know, as I get older, I've sort of gone off Marvel films and Batman and that sort of thing. Um, I mean, I don't mind a dystopian nightmare science fiction thing with lots of masks, because. Obviously, that's quite current as well. But generally, I like non-fiction um, documentaries which focus on famine or something or some this war or you know. And it's I, I I don't know if it's connected to me reading a lot of the Guardian, and I'm just trained now to read truthful, depressing articles. Um, it's just or just a sign of old age. Anyway, I, I, I picked on sea spiracies, and it basically said that you really should question whether you eat fish or not because uh, it's not sustainable. And I always thought it was sustainable. When I went to the supermarkets, all the sustainable side, um, I always felt, you know, I'm doing the right thing because the Guardian had told me to read, so, you know, buy it. and it turns out it might not even be sustainable even though it's got the little badge, uh, because every time you every time you eat a mouthful of tuna, you might kill a dolphin. There's a big connection between the number of dolphins getting killed and tuna, and it's all a bit of a cover up, according to this documentary. And I felt utterly miserable and depressed, which I can do anyway, quite often. But this was like, per, you know, this was me making myself by watching this. And I was thinking, I wish I'd stuck to Prince Philip, quite frankly. You know, you know what you're gonna get with that sort of thing and all the paper, you know, all the pageantry and all the, you know, his achievements, nothing about eating fish that kills dolphins and whales and destroys the seabed. It's all, it's all a bit more easy on the eye, even if it can be, you know, a little bit repetitive. Uh, now I've got a question, you know, am I going to give up fish? Uh, and I don't know the answer to that, to be, you know, it's not something that I, because it's just another thing that I can't do and I go, ugh. So um, it's a bit difficult because I do like tuna, I like sushi. So, you know, um, I, I it's, it's going to be a tough one. So I tried to go back to Prince Philip and see whether I could forget about the documentary, but that's the problem. Once the genie's out, you're so, so I thought, anyway, the bottom line is I'm going to stick to Prince Philip for a while longer. Cheers.